Hey Dutch here. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how I built my driveway. Now, if you're anything like me, you probably never built a driveway before. And uh, when I was getting ready to tackle this, I was like, all right, now how do I do it? It can't be that hard to build a driveway, especially on some old farmland. So I started doing some research online. Honestly, I couldn't really find anything that was just set in stone. This is how you build your driveway. So that told me there's, there's several ways to do it. So I'm not going to sit here and tell you guys the way I did it is the perfect way, the only way, or the best way. I'm just going to show you guys how I did it. And if you guys like how I did it, then you can apply it to your road too. But, so like I said, I didn't, I didn't uh, find anything online that really just told me how to do it. So I started asking um, some of my old friends that worked for the county for 25 plus years, 25, 30 years, how they would do it. Brought them out here, showed them the property. They told me how they'd do it. They said they'd rip off about 10 inches of topsoil, 10, 12 inches of topsoil, bring in a three inch base, which is a pretty good size. They said bring in three inch base, and then after you drive on it for a couple weeks, go ahead and bring in inch and a half crusher run, drive on it for a couple months. That way it really packs down in good. And then they said once you got that packed how you like it, they said bring in uh, three quarter inch, um, I think it's called chat. It's just little bitty pieces. And uh, that's exactly how I did it, guys. I, I ripped the topsoil off, I brought in the three inch base, drove on it for a couple weeks, brought in the um, an inch and a half crusher run and uh, drove on it for several months and got it packed down really good then I, um, then for the finished product I brought in the three quarter inch um, uh, chat and that really makes the driveway awesome because it's a lot it packs down it packs down really well makes it for a smooth ride now we've been driving on this thing for close to four years now and there's places that you can see in some of my other videos that I brought I use my um, ash out of my out of my uh, stove here to fill in the potholes. Now that's good for the little potholes, but when you start getting the, the big ones for, uh, from all the rain and stuff, it's probably time to bring in a little bit more chat. So um, right now, I'm just gonna, I'm just, in this video, I'm just gonna show you guys some pictures that I got from when I first built the place and I uh, hope it helps someone out out there. And uh, it's not very long, it's like two minutes long. And if you guys have any questions about it, just let me know. And uh, I'm putting a questions and a Q and A uh, video together here this weekend about how I built my pole barn and also if there's any questions about the road that, that I don't cover in this video then I'll go over that in that video too. But just a quick uh, recap I brought in three I took the topsoil off brought in three inch uh, base and then brought in um, inch and a half um, crusher run Now I finished it off with uh, three quarter inch uh, chat. Now my driveway is 500 foot long and I used 12 loads of gravel four loads of, uh, of three inch base four loads of uh, inch and a half crusher run and four loads of the, the three quarter inch um, chap. Now, I figured it up, it averaged about $160 per load that's delivered to my place. So 160 times 12, is, I think it's right under $2,000. So you might say I have $2,000 give or take in a 500 foot driveway. So that should help you guys. If, if, the, um, if the gravel and stuff is still the same price as it was four years ago, $160 a load. I'm not exactly sure. I don't remember how many tons that was. So I apologize for that. And, but uh, and I know it was about 160 load on average. So you can look at a 500 foot driveway. It cost me right at $2,000, give or take. And so you might be able to use that as a comparison to how much you got to do. But you got to remember too, I, I, took, um, I took a big chunk of, uh, of topsoil off my road because I didn't have big rocks underneath it. You know, I didn't have the base ready. You might live in an area that you can't take, you can't take a topsoil or anything off that you already have a good base. And that's good because it'll save you money. So if you guys have live in a rocky area, you're probably not gonna have to bring in the, the three quarter, or not three quarter, you're not gonna have to bring in the three inch base because you already naturally have it there. I didn't have it here, so I brought it in. And uh, I'll be honest, after four years of driving on this thing, it's holding up pretty dang good. Now I do need to bring in uh, probably at least one more load because I need to finish a, a little parking area I got and then I can fill in a few bigger uh, potholes I got. But other than that, I don't, I don't have any complaints. Um, uh, the advice I got from my friends, it was really good advice. It worked for me and uh, maybe it'll work for you guys. Hope you enjoy the little video. Thanks for watching.